Welcome to East Hollywood High School's socially distanced commencement exercises for the class of 2020. We welcome everyone participating in this historic ceremony here in the parking lot, on the school roof, and at home. Though this isn't the graduation ceremony that you had hoped for, it is by far the coolest graduation that I have ever been a part of. Graduates, you are making history. You were born in the wake of 9-11, and you are graduating during a global pandemic. You know how to do hard things. You are living rule 76, no excuses, play like a champion. We are proud of you and all of that you have accomplished. And most importantly, you need to be proud of yourselves. A digital program for tonight's ceremony was sent out. As you look at the graduates' names on the program, you will see abbreviations following some of their names. These abbreviations signify honors, centennial scholarship recipients, valedictorian, salutatorian, and so on. I would like to announce that the valedictorian at East Hollywood High School this year is Hal Isaacson. And our salutatorian is Scout Stoner. Please honk for our valedictorian and salutatorian. East Hollywood partners with Snow College to provide the opportunity for students to earn college credit while they are still high school students. I would like to acknowledge the following students who are graduating with college credit. Logan Farnsworth, Keelan High, Jessica Hurtado, Hal Isaacson, Austin Isle, Jaina Jacobson, Rachel Johnson, Mayuka Kimura, Jesse Lejuan, Xavier Logan, and Isabella Mascarenas. Please honk for these outstanding students. I would like to recognize Samuel Rigby for completing all of his general education courses and earning his general education studies certificate through Snow College. This is a huge accomplishment. Please honk for Sam. I would like to recognize Ellie Myers. She is attending Paul Mitchell School of Cosmetology and has been during her senior year. Please honk for Ellie. The following students completed career and technical education pathways during their time at East Hollywood High School. Patricia Cano, Marketing Sales, Hospitality and Tourism, Entrepreneurship and Management. Keelan High, Graphic Design and Communications, Digital Media. Jaina Jacobson, Marketing and Sales, Hospitality and Tourism, Entrepreneurship and Marketing. Mayuka Kimura, Marketing and Sales, Hospitality and Tourism, Entrepreneurship and Management, Accounting and Financial Operations. Isabella Mascarenas, Graphic Design and Communications, Digital Media. Tyson Miller, Entrepreneurship and Management. Sam Rigby, Graphic Design and Communications, Digital Media. Gabriel Samaniego, Marketing and Sales, Hospitality and Tourism, Entrepreneurship and Management, Accounting and Financial Operations. Please honk for our CTE Pathway Completers. I would like to acknowledge the students who are graduating with honors having a grade point average of 3.5 or higher. Hal Isaacson, Scout Stoner, Sage Belknap, Samuel Rigby, Isabella Mascarenas, Mayuka Kimura, Rachel Johnson, Xavier Logan, Katrina Dawson, Haley Slaymaker, Jessica Hurtado, Ashley Zavala, Isabella Moreno, Melissa Neary, Kelsey Phelps, Seth Soper. Please honk for our students graduating with honors. Graduating students, there isn't a single one of you who got to this point in your life without the support of others. Parents, grandparents, family members, friends have helped you along your way. Please make sure that you express your gratitude 
to these amazing and supportive people in your life who have helped you to this moment. Honk for all the people who have helped you along your way. I would like to take a moment to recognize the faculty and staff at East Hollywood High School. I am more honored now than ever to have the privilege to work with this amazing staff. School dismissal in the pandemic has presented us with huge challenges and hurdles to overcome. And in challenging times, people's true character comes to the forefront. These teachers and staff are truly amazing people, and they care deeply about each and every one of you. Please take some time in the near future to personally express your gratitude to them and their efforts on your behalf. Please honk in appreciation for the faculty and staff of East Hollywood High School. I would also like to acknowledge the school's Board of Trustees. The Board of Trustees is the governing body of the school, and we appreciate this very important voluntary service of these board members. Skip Francone, Board President, Dr. Richard West, Susan Soleil, Omar Vialba, and Scott Pruitt. Please honk in appreciation for the East Hollywood Board of Trustees. As I said before, this is not a traditional graduation. You will not have to sit through any long speeches. However, we will keep a few of our traditions. One is a musical number. Tonight, we have a special musical performance by one of our graduates, Rachel Johnson. We are the champions. Please enjoy as we switch to that now. I've paid my dues time after time. I've done my sentence, but committed no crime and bad mistakes. I've made a few. I've had my share of sand kicked in my face, but I've come through. And I need to go. Taking my bows and my curtain calls. You brought me fame and fortune and everything that goes with it. I thank you all, but it's been no bed of roses, no pleasure cruise. I consider it a challenge before the whole human race, and I never lose. And I need to go.
Thank you, Rachel. That was amazing. Everyone, please honk for Rachel. Another important tradition at East Hollywood graduations is for the staff to say goodbye and send off each graduate as they walk across the stage after receiving their diploma. Because they can't send you off in person, they have prepared a video for you. Here are the staff of East Hollywood's parting words for the graduates of 2020. You, you gotta scoot over more. More? Yeah, get out. Like this far away from me? Yeah, this far. Oh yeah, because of COVID. <laughs> Hey class of 2020, so I have three pieces of advice for you. One is never skimp on toilet paper. There's never a good enough reason for single ply. Two, okay, and this one's really important, is that every single human being on this earth fails or will fail, okay? Everyone fails at some point or another, and you are going to fail sometime in the near future, and that's okay. Um, part of the beauty of this school is that it's a school that taught you to overcome failure. And most of you came here from places where you had struggled, maybe not fit in, maybe it didn't work for you. But hopefully we've taught you how to overcome that failure because if you can do that, you can join the ranks of some of my favorite people in history, the ones who didn't give up and did something awesome. The third piece of advice um, is to believe in something. Find some moral code, some cause, some kind of metric that you can base your choices against and, and that you can really feel and follow and, and know is good for you. Because there are millions of choices every day. And if you have some kind of a code, some kind of belief system, then the choices get simpler and, and you can find yourself still feeling proud even when you've had to make a tough choice. So that's it, that's all I've got for you guys. So congratulations on graduating. I'm very proud of you. Um, go make us proud. My name's Lacey Pichel. I'm a spin paraprofessional and I taught English this year. I want to leave you with a few important tips. So here they are. Be brave, own your confidence, accept that not everyone will like you, but know you are only human. Always look for the good in others. Learn to prioritize, know when to ask for help, um, pick yourself up when you fall and continue to be amazing. We couldn't be more proud of you, but more importantly, be proud of yourselves. And as the great Leslie Nope once said, I am big enough to admit that I am often inspired by myself, so go inspire yourselves. Congratulations to the class of 2020 Man Bears. Congratulations to you graduates of 2020. Hope you guys have a fun time out there at school and Micah, I want to see your rap videos in the future. Hi, East Hollywood graduates. I just want to say congratulations to all of you for being strong and resilient. And I know that you're strong and resilient because you're here graduating right now, especially during this strange time that we're in. I do want to give um, a special shout out to all of my concurrent enrollment students. I'm just so proud of all of you for taking college while you went to high school and congratulations Sam for graduating with your general education certificate. That is an achievement that you should be very proud of. Go forth and make every day a great day. Hey 2020 graduates, congratulations on making it through this one heck of a crazy year. I just wanted to leave you some words of advice and that is to value your relationships that you have with each other and with all your friends and family. Um, when times get crazy like they did this last year, it's those relationships that it's going to help you to get through those things. They're going to be your safety net. It's that love and that connection and that ability to fall back on someone um, that can help you help you to succeed in life. And so congratulations again. Let's keep moving forward and I wish you the best of luck. Adios amigos. Hi Man Bears, congratulations. You've made it to graduation day. Wow, this has been quite a ride we've had together. Some of you I've known since freshman year. Others of you have come into my life throughout the past few years and have made a permanent impression on who I am as a teacher and as a person. As the mom bear around here, I wish there's some things that I could have spared you guys from, like a lot of the things that we've had to go through over the last months. But you know what? 
Those are the types of things that make you stronger people. And there's never been a stronger graduating class of East Hollywood High School than you guys. And you guys are going to hit the world by storm, and you're going to be great. Congratulations. I'm going to miss every single one of you. Congratulations, graduates. You all know me, right? I am proof that life is a do-over. And today is not the last day, but the first day. And if you don't find what you want the first time, you can do it again. Because you want to choose what you want to do, not what you have to do. And when you get to the end of that, whatever it is, be the best. So I wanted to give some advice to all of those 2020 graduates out there. As a biology teacher, I recommend that you look around you and see all of the beautiful life around you. It's not about accomplishments and it's not about making all the money. It's really just about enjoying life. And you don't need to listen to everybody else. The world is going into a different place right now. So stick to your own guns, stick to your own rules. And the most important thing of all is that you should leave this world a more interesting place. Hi members, I'm really proud of you. I'm sorry that, you know, your senior year and graduation and stuff had to end up like this. That's not really cool, but you know what's cool? The stories that you have to tell. Always just experience life to the fullest and think about all the experiences you're having and all the stories that you're gonna be able to tell someday and just always keep creating and make the world a better place. Love you, man bears. I miss you. Hi, I'm Annie. And I'm Nicole. Wait, er, wait. I'm Nicole? No, I'm Annie? Wait. You guys, shut up. <laughs> I'm Nicole. And I'm Annie. Congratulations. <laughs> we love you. And now that you're graduated, you, you can, can do whatever you like. Social distancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, I just wanted to say to you, graduating man bears, that I think you're awesome. From my personal experience, I've just found that if you're, if you give people the benefit of the doubt, and you forgive, and you don't hold on to grudges, you're going to be happier. So, just let those things go, and be free in the world, and just go and live and love and do good. I would say I feel like there's there's going to be a lot of people telling you that this sucks but and trying to spin it into something positive whether it's oh look at all this uh, time you can have to work on something creative or the fact that this is the first time I've worn real pants in I don't know weeks like but this does suck like this is this is like really hard times and I'm sorry for you <laughs> Um, and I miss you guys, and I love you guys, and I want the world to be a better place for you. So I, I hope for the best, and I know we both do. We miss you and we love you. Truth. I miss school. Yeah. Like actual school. It's true. Not this. <laughs> no. Hey, class of 2020. Just a quick word from me on your way out and to celebrate this great time for you. Um, one thing I would advise you is to don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. And then when you're making choices and decisions, every single day going forward, always ask yourself, um, where will it lead? We have positive and negative consequences to our choices and decisions. And let that kind of guide you. Ask yourself, where will this decision that I make lead? You can do hard things. You've been doing hard things for quite a while now, and you've found your way through it. You've pushed through, you've found success, you're, um, you're gaining confidence little by little, and you can do hard things. And so go forward with that thought that I can do hard things, I can push through, and I can achieve. And then lastly, in a world where you can be anything, I would encourage you to be yourself. So. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you the very best. You've been awesome to watch. You've been awesome to work with. So again, congratulations. It's a big milestone and you achieved and you arrived. So go forward and conquer. Hi, 2020 graduates. I just wanna say congratulations. Good luck in the future. I know you will all make it in life and it was great serving you all and I've established some really good friendships that I'll always remember you guys by. Anyway, good luck.
thank you and hope to see you soon. Hi graduates, congratulations. You did a heck of a thing. You did all the hard stuff to get through and you succeeded. Uh, just on a personal note from me, I just want to tell you that uh, I was the new kid this year in school and you guys made it easy for me. I appreciate that. So uh, get on with your lives and have a great life and be kind to one another because that's what you did to me and I really appreciate it. Good luck guys. Hey East Hollywood High School graduates, congratulations. You guys had to face something that no other class before you has ever had to face and I'm extremely proud of you. Best of luck in your future endeavors and I can't wait to hear about what those are. If you guys ever need anything, you know where to find me. Congratulations. Hello graduates, uh, I just wanted to uh, congratulate you all on um, your accomplishment of getting through an unprecedented year of high school. I hope that you feel great about uh, what you've been able to do and I, I hope that you will take the strength that you've um, gained from this experience and move forward. I wish I could tell you that you just accomplished the hardest thing in your life but Unfortunately, that's not the case, actually. Um, life does get harder, but you can do hard things. And um, a, a good way to know if you're going in the right direction, uh, the, right, the right direction will always be uphill. You will always be challenged as you learn and grow. But even though the lows might be a little bit lower, the highs are absolutely higher. And I hope that um, you will be able to look back on the experiences that you had here at East Hollywood and um, remember all the good times that you had and all the challenges that you overcame and that they will help to boost you and move you forward. Um, again, I want to congratulate you and um, just wish you the best in your future. Hello everybody. I just want to say thank you so much for coming to the school. We're all going to miss you. And there's something I always want you to remember. U equal X, awesome equals Y. X is greater than Y. Hey class of 2020, I am so proud of you. I miss you guys. I am impressed that you're able to get through this and graduate. I'm sad that I don't get to hug you guys as you walk by, but keep fighting and make the world something you want to live in. Congratulations graduates. I am so proud of each and every one of you. You've shown that you have the perseverance to do what it takes to get through this crisis that we've had here recently. That will take you a long way in your lives. Um, I wish you the best. Keep following your dreams, embrace change, and above all, enjoy life. Thank you. Class of 2020, congratulations. You know, you'll be the class that'll be remembered for, you know, graduating during this very interesting time. We all experienced this life-changing event together, uh, but the class of 2020 persevered for months and achieved their graduation anyway. And for that, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. First off, I want to tell you how proud I am of you. I wish I could tell you in person and shake your hand. But first, remember to never give up. Always do your best in whatever you do. Most importantly, you need to come back and say hi to all of us. Congratulations, everyone. It looks like you made it. Just remember you're in charge of the world from here on out, so when it gets all screwed up like it is right now, you're in charge. So congratulations again. Good luck to those of you that are going to college. I'm really proud of you. Bye-bye. First of all, I want to let you guys know that I am very proud of you. You graduated under very difficult circumstances. This is not an experience any of us have ever had before. If I could give you any piece of advice, it would be not to make any decisions now that will affect your adulthood. Um, you're very young and you're going to change quite a bit and you don't want to be dealing with any consequences in the future. That's it, love you all, congratulations. I'll see you in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. My advice for you as you transition into adulthood is to remember to be strong, be kind, and just be you. I miss you all. You did it. Good luck. Congratulations on 
your graduation You got things academic in a global pandemic But you better keep learning Cause the world will keep turning And don't be a jerk to your friends The end They're talking. Can we stand behind and make faces? They wouldn't be super surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dracula now. It's kind of freaking heck. See what I mean? Hey, Spencer. Yeah. Air 5. Whoosh. I'm falling off. <laughs> You filming all this, and you're gonna, and you're gonna, you're gonna go. This is what Debbie was like beforehand. Huh? Point on set. How was that? Thank you, East Hollywood staff. And now the seniors' parting words. Everyone, enjoy the senior video. Kayla Eugene Bilsma. Cameron Ammon Bullon. Fatima Villa. Hunter Cox. Sage Belknap. Samantha Barney. Yeah, Samuel Reese Brooks. Weston Chase Salm Anderson. Sarah Ruby Cruz. I'm Courtney Danzi. Juan Diego Delgado Martinez. Logan Farnsworth. Michael Fotu. Alexi Hunsaker. Austin Keith Isle. Uh, Casey Hager. Julissa Herrera. Juliet Herrera. Kaylee Gonzalez. Xavier Logan. Jasmine Ledesma. Jesse Lodgewan. Nicholas Kilgore. Nahea Leomi Timo. Rachel Johnson. <laughs> Angel Francisco Ortiz Gamboa. Eliza Myers. Gabriel Miller. Jeremy Matthew. Isabella Marino. Carter Lewis Miranda. Jessica Rattato. Carter Jerome Roosh. Socorro Michelle Peters. My name is Gabriel Samniego. James Darren Smith. Ashley Zavala. Trevor Velasquez. Scout Young. Uh, because the old school that I went to wasn't meant for me, it wasn't fitting. It, they, the faculty were really bullying of the students, I believe, and so I just didn't like it there. Um, because I felt like I didn't really have a place in public high schools, I felt like this was really the only place for me, and it turned out to be a good decision. <laughs> um, I came to East Hollywood because it's different from public schools, and I really struggled at public schools. Um, I didn't learn. Um, I wasn't getting as much help from the teachers like I do here, and I couldn't fully express myself. I actually heard about it on the radio, and it was like an alternative school, and I came to EHHS because of the weird opportunities here, and just like the weirdness of the school in general. It was just the most inviting school I've ever been to. My best friend's sister actually told me to come here. I gave it a shot. I love this school, and so that's what brought me here. It's taught me that right here you have so many friends that help you when you're in your lowest lows. And it also teaches you that you can just be yourself. I think loyalty, to be honest, because the friendships here and the relationships with the teachers. Like, not just school-wise, but like life-wise. Like, they teach you a lot of things. And like, you come here every day and you learn something new. You never leave the school without like, um, not learning something new, so. How we're like a big family, we're like there for one another, and drama goes on, but we're all there to help each other. Um, it taught me to believe in myself and to never give up. Um, a lot of like the students and the teachers really helped me last year, and last year was really hard for me. So <sighs> it's taught me to be very friendly. Cause before I came here, I was homeschooled, and I didn't know much, cause I was <laughs> I was very shy, and now I feel like I'm very open. Working on Worst Prom Ever, I think even though the movie didn't turn out the best, it was um, it was still really fun to work on. Probably going to Homecoming. Me and my girlfriend walked in and it was like we were the movie stars and it was awesome and it was really fun. Okay, I was having a really rough time and I told Nolan and then I was like gone for a week doing treatment and stuff and I come back and Nolan pulls me into his office and he's like, hey. I know you're having a really rough time, so I got you hot Cheetos. 
I say some of my favorites would just be like the bus rides to and from the sports games, you know, basketball and soccer. Like spending times with the teams was really a good time with my high school experience. So I think those are my favorite memories. Probably flipping chairs in Sandy's class freshman year. It was pretty fun. <laughs> my favorite memory here was working on like the films last year where we made just like in independent films, like small little ones. It was like really cool and just fun. The school concerts, because I've been in a lot of them, I think it's given me a chance to like show off my talent, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tilos of my sophomore year. I made a lot of close bonds and we had a lot of fun together. It'll be something special for all seniors. It's like having the last memory high school. I'm excited but also sad because knowing that the high school experience is almost over. It's sad. It hurts. I don't want to do it but I know I need to and it's gonna happen anytime. I'm gonna miss the school a lot. It, it was one of the reasons why I woke up in the morning. I mean it makes me like feel sad because knowing that I was only here for like a year and just like leaving already after like you know knowing how great like this school is so yeah i mean it's bound to happen right but i'm excited to see who's on like further i don't know it's i'm excited to leave but and i'm ready to leave but it feels almost like there wasn't enough time to learn and to grow in such an amazing environment i'm sad but i'm prepared i feel like i can do what i want to do but it, I, I don't want to leave. I'll miss hanging out with all the homies at lunch. I'll miss Thomas. I love you, Thomas. I'll miss the teachers a lot. At least some of them, for sure. I don't know. <laughs> all of it. I, I'll miss Man Bear. I'll miss the basketball team the most because that's the people I hang out with. Just this pure interaction every day and, you know, seeing people. I feel like that can be a nice thing to have every day. I'll miss everybody because I can't really choose one person. It's just everybody I will, I'll miss when I leave. Ah, oh, I'm gonna miss Lara so much. I'm gonna miss Lara so much. I'm gonna miss the most Sandy and Annie and Nicole because they've been there since my freshman year. So, uh, don't be annoying. Think about what you're saying. Just quiet. Be shush. Be quiet. Uh, do your best to get work done, don't leave things to the last minute. It doesn't matter what you look like, what you wear, It just focus on school, get things done, and then worry about what he said, she said type stuff. Like, yeah, you can always have fun here, but don't be distracted, don't push things aside just because you can. Don't take your time here for granted, <laughs> really don't take it for granted. You're on borrowed time by the time you're seeing senior, so just take it slow and enjoy yourself, really. Don't be disrespectful. I don't understand why it's so cool to be disrespectful. Will you please look at the camera and say goodbye East Hollywood? Goodbye East Hollywood. 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 Peace out East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Bye East Hollywood. Uh, goodbye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Goodbye East Hollywood. Bye East Hollywood. Goodbye 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 East Hollywood. Hi. Goodbye. Goodbye East Hollywood. 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 Thank you for all the opportunities that you have given me. Goodbye East Hollywood. 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 Those is guys. Goodbye East Hollywood. Thank you. I love you, <laughs> and you have given me more confidence, self-love, and more of a voice than anybody else has in my whole entire life, and I just want to say thank you, and 
see you around because I don't want to say goodbye. <laughs>